So in this particular Bobo's Nerd Corner, I continue addressing the Final Fantasy games and my various thoughts and issues with them. Now we're going to talk about Nine. Now, with Final Fantasy IX, if you hate spoilers of any kind, I'm going to talk about a final boss situation, so you might want to not listen to this or whatever. But honestly, I don't believe that there's story ruined by this bullshit. So let's proceed with what I'm calling bullshit, a.k.a. Necron. You played the game, you know who I'm talking about, or you might have forgotten, actually. Because you beat the final boss, right? I mean, the guy who makes sense to be the final boss. You beat him. I'm not going to say who, of course, but you beat him, and... Well, okay, you beat the guy, bad thing happens, your party gets its ass kicked a little bit, and all of a sudden, from somewhere, descends this guy, and he's gonna rustle your jimmies, because that's his job. He's like the universal janitor, and y'all done goofed. I don't know, like, I, I really don't get it. He just shows up because Kuja was a bad guy, and I need to blow up your world. Like, I really don't get it. I'm honestly confused. He just shows up, let's go battle time, fight, fight. Which, in this case, isn't fun. Because this is the final battle. Like, that's the thing that needs meaning. Out of the whole game, the entire game you have played, it's built up a meaning, a resonance with you, a story, right? You've come to know characters, their struggles. You've participated in their events and fought. This shit has meaning to you at this point. You're at the end. And then this dude just rolls up. Just, I'm Necron. I'm a guy we've never met. We, you, I am now the final boss. So, why am I ranting about Necron out of everything I could talk about in this game? Why Necron, right? Well, because this encapsulates what I actually refer to as Final Fantasy Syndrome, which is the final boss lead-up doesn't lead up to the final boss. You, you do this whole thing, story progression, you fight a guy and suddenly, who is this? And when I'm saying suddenly who is this in relation to the last enemy I'm fighting in your story, the climactic ultimate final battle, you have completely killed my sense of give a fuck. Because I don't give a fuck about Necron. He's done nothing to me. It's not like Necron burned my village down or blew up my world or anything. He didn't do nothing. He's just showing up. Why do I care? I have no investment in this guy. The, the text box told me he is a bad dude. So I'm supposed to just hate on him and have a sudden, like, 50-hour emotional investment and built up into sudden motherfucker? Doesn't work that way. I was led up to hate this final boss guy. The story built it up where final boss guy is responsible for other shit going on and he did a lot of bad things and you're invested in fucking him up now because all this game has been about he did all this bad shit, right? You have to stop him, save the world. Everything's going in if you don't. That's a pretty good setup. It's pretty standard, but at the same time, it builds the tension. You care. I have to stop him for the world's sake. That, that's good stuff. <laughs> but Necron doesn't have that investment. He doesn't build you up to that. He doesn't give you a reason to care about why he's even there. Like, well, how'd he even show up? Why is he the universal janitor of blow up the worlds that seem to have one guy with a temper tantrum and some power? I mean, if that's the candidacy for eliminating worlds, there probably aren't any then. Every time one guy was in power throws an epic temper tantrum, universe destroyed. I mean, is that really how this works? It doesn't follow. It doesn't build up. It kills your immersion. It, it's many things that are not good. And until that point, I love that game. I love Final Fantasy IX. The system's great. Things work well. It's pretty. It's a PS1 game towards the end of it where it's really pretty. Things are going on, and I like the characters. But Necron's a bit of a dark stain on that game, because it builds all the way up to this sudden, complete letdown. And it's quite a shame. I could still recommend you play Final Fantasy IX. You should, if you haven't. It's great. But if you've made it with me this far, and you've listened about it, even if you haven't played it, then just be ready for Necron to kind of just show up at the end. You're gonna have to fight him, and it's kind of an interesting fight, unless you actually have the right equipment, in which he cannot hurt you, pretty much at all. Oh, Grand Cross, I'm immune to that. I mean, just shut off. But that's a topic for a different nerd corner. Until then, this is just a recommendation. Yes, play Final Fantasy IX, but be prepared for Necron to not make any sense.